Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077. Last time we did a couple of jobs for Wakako and today we're going to start out by going and finding our next Cyber Psycho. So, let's get into it. Okay, motorcycle, where art thou, my dear? Oh god, I'm stuck on a bollard. Don't talk bollards. <laughs> Here we go, okay. Oh, wonderful. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. So it's this way. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh. It's good to be back on Cyberpunk. I do enjoy Cyberpunk. I mean, I enjoy every game I play, but I, I'm quite a fan of Cyberpunk. It's very, um... It's just fun. It's a fun little game to play. You know, there's always lots going on. It's very vibrant and oftentimes violent and... <laughs> just a different experience. This what? the hell is going on here? Who are these folks? Maelstrom? Why? 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 Can I not go through here? Am I not allowed? Or can I just can I just rip round it? Alright. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's obvious when you don't enjoy the games you play. And I've, I've noticed that about some YouTubers that I've watched in the past. You can tell when they don't enjoy the game they're playing. So, but yeah, Cyberpunk is definitely one of my um, one of my favourites. I will say that much. What? Cyber Psycho sighting six feet under. What is going? Did this car just crash? Uh, no. What? V heard Northside seen some action. Got Maelstrom's hauling butt out of there. We'll go see what's going on exactly. Interesting. Well, all right, madam. Bloody hell. Um. Hello? Are you okay? Why? What? V? No, I didn't want to. <sighs> good lord, good lord, really. I wanted to search the dude, find out what's going on. Why? Why did he just crash all of a sudden? That was a bit random. Um, okay, let's just have a little peep here. See what's going on. Because I'm not entirely sure. Why? Okay. Um, maybe we should just be a little careful here. Because, oh dear. Dead oh, maelstrom. Oh well. Shock and blood loss due to multiple lacerations. Okay, so yeah. Um, we're armed and dangerous. Let's just be careful here. Hello? Hello. Hmm. Maybe they're around this side. Kind of looks like. They're. Okay. Ah, <gasps> scout. Another dead maelstromer. That I'm guessing is our cyber psycho, Lely Hein. Valentino's. Oh yeah, that's our cyber psycho. Okay. Where's uh? Where's big? Big, big gun. Okay. 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 Did he just... Did, okay. What am I stuck at? What? Okay, why is he running off? Um. Okay. Dude. I'm going to make this nice and easy. Whoa. Okay, I thought that was like the Ghostbusters symbol then. I don't know why. Da 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 Alright, dude. Don't mind me. Lely, Lely Hine, maybe that's how you say it. <coughs> I thought I killed him then. Okay. Get it. Valentinos, yeah. Okay, uh, micro rotors. Ooh. Interesting. 
Farewell. Readable. Padded strappers with aluminium inserts. Okay. Farewell. All right, let's take a peep. Tamara, I've been trying to reach you ever since they took me. I know you're looking, and I know you'll find me eventually, but I don't know how to make it any easier. Don't think I can get on the net. I should have listened when you taught me how, but now I've fudged myself. Honestly, I don't think you'll recognise me if you saw me. I know I don't. Should just stick a barrel down my throat and be done with it. I'm such a fudging monster. Fudge me! Gang ain't taking me back. Not without a bag over my head. I got these li like... I got these like tractor hands and ugly as sin red eyes. All I can think of now is your tombs who poisoned you to me. Telling you not to get with a Valentino, that he'll leave you for someone else, vanish without a word. I'm gone and they'll beat their chests all justified and tell you, told you so, but couldn't be more wrong. It's driving me loco, I feel like my head's going to explode in a million pieces. I can feel the pressure building and building and building, but I don't know when it's going to pop. I mean, well, yeah, what, what, what's going on with these feet? Those are some weird feet. Truly weird feet. Tractor hands, what was he talking about? Uh, well, he's got metal hands, but... Yeah, the feet are a weird one. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Um, Regina? Okay. Our kid was a Valentino, not a maelstromer. Borg fiends must have had an axe to grind with him because they stuffed him with implants like a fudging Christmas turkey and just watched and waited for him to blow. Same would happen to anyone chipped that fast, but he didn't have time to adjust to the wear and turned him psycho. Good thing he still had a little self-control left, meant I could take him down quietly. Looks like our guy didn't even have to pee them off. A while ago, Maelstrom put out word it was looking for volunteers to test some new wear. Obviously nobody stepped up, so the Borg fudges just started scopping peeps off the street. Scooping peeps off the street, sorry. Valentino's been looking for this kid for a while, not to mention the runner who swarmed the net with data feelers trying to track him down. Eventually he must have broken free and fought for his life, made the Maelstroms reap, reaped what they sowed. Whole thing backfired on them spectacularly. Good thing you managed to get him to ghost down softly. Kid's still young. Maybe with the right kind of help, he can learn to adapt his new condition. Yeah. I think the feet would get me. They're just weird feet. Could you not have all the feet put on? Okay. Um, is there anything in here for us to see? Damn. I mean, poor dude. I Ooh. Okay. I do feel kind of bad for him. If he got kidnapped and just kind of forced into it, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Good grief. Okay, anything else up here? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, archive conversation. What? Archive conversation. Vinnie Ray and Herb Payne. All right. Vinny, we loaded up Rudolph with the chrome today. It had him spinning hard for a while, but now he's sleeping like a baby. Herb. Man, can you imagine the faces on those Tinos when we roll him over to them like a fudging Trojan cyber horse? Vinny. Dude, so fudging Nova, I'd want to feed it from his optics to see him slice open those meat bags live. Herb. By the way, sending the latest equipment. Let me know how our Trojan's doing, because I want to install it myself. Vinny. I installed some preem red Karoshis on him. Not going to lie, he kind of looks like one of us now. Almost don't want to give him back. Well, that's, that's, you got what you deserved in the end, I suppose. Your head's kicked in and you're dead. Couldn't have happened to a nicer bunch. I'm sure. All right. Anything else? Okay, it's a radio. Anything else? What's that? Teapot or something? Coffee pot? Well, yeah. I mean, they, they got exactly what they deserved, I think. So it couldn't happen to a nicer bunch. Screw them. Screw them. That's what I say. Screw them. Okay, did this dude have something? Are you still alive? Well, I'm taking you Euro dollars. And I'm shooting you in the head. Because of what you did to that poor young man. Okay. Well, we uh, we did the job. 
It was kind of violent, but yeah, okay. Well, let's go back to the bike and decide where we are going next. All right, let's take a peep. Are there any other cyber psychos nearby? It's persistently wanting us to go and see Hanako, but we're not going to do that yet. We are trying to clear up the old jobs before uh, before we move on. Yes, indeed, we are. Okay, so are there any other cyber psychos near? But yes, there is. There's one there. Neutralize a threat, but there's a job here. So I think if we go do this job, and then we'll come down and get this cyber psycho, I think that should be quite good for us. Wasn't there another place for sale around here? Yes, there was. We could go and do that as well. The north side apartment. Maybe after. So, yeah, we'll go and do this first. Rescue the person located here. Well, all right. Let's rock and roll, buckaroo. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Those Egypts should not have started implanting things into people's heads. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. God bless it. Why are you tooting at me, dude? Nothing to do with you. We'll just cut across it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay. I really need to need to start being more careful, I think, with my with my driving, good lord. Oh, Regina, hello. So, listen. Maelstrom's got this Ripper doc. Mm -hmm. Thing is, they're keeping her against her will, oh. forcing her to work. Could you go grab her from those psychos? Clean cut. Her brother would be grateful. Deets attached. All right. Well, okay. SOS. Merc needed. Objective. Rescue Lucy Thackeray from Maelstrom Captivity. Location, Clean Cut Clinic on Nor Long Shore North Street. Details. Blood looks out for blood. Bertie's a leadhead who was gonk enough to join up with Maelstrom. Realised pretty quick, the psycho gang operates by simple rules. You stay, you die, or you pay. In comes his sister, Lucy, who chose option number three. Instead of hard scratch, she bought her bro's freedom with her expertise and services. She put three months of cyberware repair on the table. Problem is, five months have already come and gone. Now, in comes you. This gig's on Bertie's dime. Guess he had a few extra eddies stuffed in his mattress. Well, all right. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get in here. Okay. Well, um, let's just be a little careful about this because. Excuse me. Good lord. All right. Let's rock and roll. So. Hmm. I'm guessing. I'm guessing going in the front way might be a little bit stupid. Can we? Can we? Can we? Ow, Jesus, what? Bloody hell. Ah, maybe we go around this way? Alright. Can we... Ah. Up. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Is there a back entrance? Is there anybody around here? Possibly a way in. <laughs> We knew. Hmm. Well. Oh. Hello. Hmm. Okay. Let's just be careful. Don't want to get nabbed. Big fun. Okay. We get on the roof. <coughs> we can. Okay. Is there any way means to get in from up here, or is it just a case of is the front door our only option? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, hello. Take those, though. Hmm. Okay. Big hand. Give us a hand. Um. Hmm. What's this? Ah, here we go. What have we got here? What's going on here? Perfect. Okay. Ooh. Let's take a look. Okay. So another camera up there. Any bods? Oh, hello. Michael J. 
Johnson. I think we're up there, aren't we? Okay, um, next camera in the system, I suppose. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there was somebody there. Yes. Hmm. All right. There's somebody there, isn't there? Who's that? Ian Danson. Fanatic. Oh, a camera. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let's just, with this camera, just turn it off for now. Goon. God, whoever is tooting their horn is driving up the wall. Hmm. Wait a minute, remote deactivation, what's this? Smart glass. Oh, I see, okay. Turn that camera off from here. It's fine. Hmm. Don't know who that is, but that's TV. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing any more bods, which is hmm. okay. Let's. Can we dive back to one of the cameras that can see that one? Yes. And we're going to turn it off, please. Thank you. All right. Okay. Maybe we uh, go a little quieter on this. Maybe a little quieter. Look, still got Ant's Chinese takeout all over me. Yeah, it's you. They fucking gutted him. He just stood there giving him hell. That's hands, man. Oh my stop. God, really? So him up fast. Of course you better. All right. All right. right. Go unload. You got it. <sighs> okay, he's going outside. That's quite handy dandy. Because we can we can kind of slip through here, I think. Slip through. Okay. Um, can we grab this dude? Okay. Uh, is there somewhere we can put the bodies? We put them in the trunk of this car. Can we go in there? Yes. Will it only fit one? I think so. Okay. Okay. Let's slide through. Oh my days, come on. Come here. Ah, body fridge, body fridge. Go in there, dude. Okay, so we got three over this way. One over there. Um, mm. Okay. Hmm. Don't think anybody can see this dude, so let's just. dude and then we're done we can go and get that woman ok 
Okay, thank you. You can go in there, dude. Chill. Marvellous. Hey, hey, look at that, folks. We're like a ghost, man. Nobody knows we're here. This is awesome. Okay, is there anything else in here for us? Any other goods? Might as well uh, help ourselves to the uh, to the proceeds, eh? Why not? Why not, eh? We've done all the hard work, after all. Anything else? No. Oh, we could have snuck in here, the back door. Never mind. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all good. Oh, hello. What's this? Uh, chemicals, the invisible kill we've already read. Ha! Marvellous. Okay. All this stuff. What, what is this? They look like... I don't know. I don't know what they look like. Huh. Okay. Am I carrying too much? No. Okay, never mind. Thought I was. Do you know what? That's fine. Royal blue, we like. What else have we got here? Uh, parallel lives. It being my purpose to write the lives of Alexander the King and of Caesar, by whom Pompey was destroyed, the multitude of their great actions affords so large a field that I were to blame if I should not, by way of apology, forewarn my reader that I have chosen rather to epitomise the most celebrated parts of their story than to insist at large on every particular circumstance of it. It must be borne in mind that my design is not to write histories but lives, and the most glorious exploits do not always furnish us with the clearest discoveries of virtue or vice in men. Sometimes a matter of less moment, an expression or a jest, informs us better of their characters and inclinations than the most famous sieges, the gracest armaments or the bloodiest battles whatsoever. Therefore, as portrait painters are more exact in the lines and features of the face in which the character is seen than in the other parts of the body, so I must be allowed to give my more particular attention to the marks and indications of the souls of men, and while I endeavour by these to portray their lives, may be free to leave more weighty matters and great battles to be treated of by others. Okay. What? Ooh. I saw the Euro dollars. Let's have a look at this. Any 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 info here? Uh, took care of them. Those scav fudges tried to cheat us, but we reminded them who we are. Should be a lesson to the rest of them in the city. Does mean, though, that tensions are going to be tight for a while. Don't want anyone to catch a bullet because of this. By the way, can you believe they tried to push dirty chrome on me? Me? Christ, like selling sun to a nomad. Please. Hey, Arne, please, I beg you, let my sister go. We agreed Lucy would work with you for three months, but that time's come and gone. This isn't fair. You broke the deal. Still, I'd be willing to add a little sweetener for you to let her go now. Please, Arne, she's my sister. Bertie, how nice to hear from you. Here I thought you forgot about us. Funny you should mention the deal, because I think it's you who fudging broke it. We strap your chrome, we support our maelstrom brothers and sisters, and you stay on with us. To drop your pathetic waste of an existence, add meaning to your worthless life, but you rejected us like a shoddy implant. We have feelings too, Bertie. You broke our hearts. As for little sis, she likes it here with us. In fact, care about what she wants so much, I texted her to make sure here's what she had to say. Hey bro, life's good here. I'd rather stay with your Nova butt tombs then run away with some coward C word like you. Bye. Her words, not mine. My hands are tied, man. It's her decision, dude. You get it. I can't just kick her out, do her dirty like that. Anyways, bye. Well, sure, Jan. Alright, let's um let's go and find this lady, shall we? Is she in here? Hello? Bonjour. Hello? Okay, no. It's just a manky old toilet, anything here? No. Right. Um, hmm. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, here to save you. What's what's this? 75 years of... Oh, we've already read that. Your friend's in real bad shape. Get in here. I need your help. Um, I'm here to get you out. You Lucy? Lucy Thackeray? What is up with this tech? I can't see shit. Your brother sent me. I'm here to get you out. Birdie? Okay. Okay, just a moment. What's with him? Look, okay. we don't have time Oops. for this. The tech they've got in here belongs in a scrapyard. We got a Delta. Now. Since you're still here, run a scan on him. You can't be you serious. You can't be serious. Jesus, I see your implants. Scan him. Pressure's falling. Same with temperature. Hans Otto. He's going into shock. I'll try to stem the bleeding. You, give him a unit of synth blood. Come on, it's on the table. First from the left. Well, how do I... On the table on the left? Where? What, this? Okay. Can't hold him much longer. All right, there you go. I don't know why you want to save this, dude. It's not in my hand. <sighs> okay, gotta wait a bit before it closes up. Why are you helping him? Why are him? you doing this? I'm a doctor. He probably killed more people than you'll ever save. Yeah. This is an operation, not a court hearing. All right, crisis averted, looks like. Rest he'll just have to sleep off. Thanks. Now we can go. I mean, oh, fine. I don't... Okay. Okay, driver's waiting. All right. Drivers waiting, get loose to the car. Fine. Okay, okay. Jeez. Is there anything else here? Ooh, hello. Files. Patient records. Okay. Okay. Meds list. Ha. Not really of much interest to us. Alright, let's get her out of here. Come on then, um, madam. Keep close to me. Head down. I mean, she doesn't need to keep close or keep her head down. I've killed them all. Come on. Your ride. Get in. Yeah. Get in it. Here. Alright. So, so, is he now, like, friendly to us or something? This dude? I mean, that's just war. Oh, hello, Regina. Hey, yes. Lucy's safe. Yes, I know. Green work. Thanks. Not a problem, not a problem, love. Not a problem. Okay. So. Oh, it was in here, wasn't it? Yes, there it was. Oh, he's gone. What? Okay, it's just that he he his uh, little dot went green, and that made me think, hmm, maybe he's going to be nice to us. All right, our next stop is going to be here, the house, North Sign apartment, and then we'll head over to that other cyber psycho who's down here somewhere. Um, motorcycle, come here, please. Thank you. Marvelous, marvelous, Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So, do we have to go around this way to get in? First time? No. What? Who spotted us? Who's getting annoyed? Leave me alone, man. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do a dang thing, girl. Okay. Ah. Oh, is it one that we can't, like, purchase? We have to actually boss in? Okay. Hmm. Maybe we get round the other side? Ah, this way?
Hmm. What in the world? Ah, here we go. Uh, ten thousand dollars. Okay, euro dollars even. All right. Open up. Authentically functional. It's not cramped. It's cozy. Heiger. Heiger. I think it's Heiger. I think that's how you pronounce it, isn't it? Um. I mean, it's cozy. It's very cramped. Very, very cramped. What does that mean? What's that little symbol? Okay. Stash. It's definitely, um. Hmm. Okay. You're listening. The hour. Good lord. There we go. You're listening to ninety-one point nine Royal Blue Radio, broadcasting live from. Oh, hello. V, let me lay some facts on you. The good kind. The rippers we hired already carried out some seventeen operations with that Arasaka gear we clept. Swapping busted kidneys for beautiful smiles. Might sound like a tacky tagline, but this is some honest-to-God heartwarming shiz tune. We also opened a dialysis centre. Still need a little time to arrange organ transplants, though. This is real, V. It's happening, and it's all thanks to you. Um. Anyway, I can still help. Ah, V. Wouldn't have been possible without you. But now it's time for Santo to start taking care of itself. Under my watchful eye, of course. Well, all right, dude. I'm glad you're happy. Yeah, this is its definitely the, the least luxurious of the lot, is it not? Can we even open the windows? No, I'm not allowed to do that. Um, well, yeah. Okay. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with... You know what, we better turn the radio off, haven't we? Or we'll end up with the most ridiculous electricity bill. Um... I don't know why I'm so determined to have all the apartments. It's weird, I know, but there you have it. That's definitely a dive that we didn't need, but that's fine. Can we get through the bushes? Yes, we can. Whoop! Okay. On to our next task, then, I believe. Which should be... Right here. Neutralise the threat, and then we've got a couple of jobs here that we can do as well, which is marvellous. I think we've done all the jobs up here. Obviously, ooh. What's that? Side job. Okay, no, no, no. We'll we'll go and do that first. And then um, then we'll go and look at our cyber psycho. I want to know what this is, though. Side job? Okay. Get me on. Hello? But There we go. down here and then this way. yep I wonder what this is a side job I don't think I've ever seen this before that's usually like main quest marker type job if you get what I mean uh, this way yeah Something on the docks. Okay, this is a little bit, um, bit of a new one. Wonder what it is. Um, it's a, it's a. This arm, it is not mine. None of this me. Cold, dead metal! All of it! What? What have I done to deserve this? Um... To fall victim to Hinsa! It itches! Should it what be what happened? happened? Yeah. Your implants, Why? they look half done. Done? Or not done? It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet... They knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you? So Not is it... just me. My brother, too. Okay. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. 
Yeah, that's and all the while, bad. they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Guess in Maelstrom, maybe? Why'd they do it? Makes no sense. Who'd go and do something like this, and why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. has gotta be. Yeah. Where's your brother How now? about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how. How to modify him. Damn. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. All right, dude. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like, like I have. Now that's that's pretty awful. Oh, I'm not doing that. What's in it for me? Come on now. Um, I'll help you. Fine, out. I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. Yeah. There must be some other way. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? Wish you'd drop dead. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna stoop to his level. You can grin all you want. Look at that. Grin. It's a poop eating grin. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What do we got here? Some kind of scriptures. Your God, your Karoshi, and Ju Buddhism and cyberware. A perspective. Um, I'll take it. We might read it later. All right, so I've got to go and save a monk now. Oh, he's down here. Okay. Honestly. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's go and save a save a monk then. Cameras here. Broke down car. Mm. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. Let's just, just, just. Up. Any cameras? Dude, there. Anyone else? Can't see anybody. Um. Hmm. Maybe we should be a little. This quietly, I suppose. Gotta, Fuck. gotta break it. Nail that meat back to the wall. Help! Let me out of here. Okay. Ah, yes. There we go. Okay. Let's just see if we can peep. Oh, there's a box there. Okay, maybe we can maybe we can distract her and get her to move. Let's do that. The fuck was that? Oh, I thought it was a woman. Oops, never mind. It wasn't a woman. That's fine. See, because once he's out of eye line, we can. We can do that. Oh. Okay. Just where can we put you, my my friend? Oh, well, we'll just put you here with the trash baby belong, shall we? Not a problem. Not a problem at all. So that's the way in. What's this? Messages? Ugh. No, thank you. All right. So. Defeat the Gangoons. All right. Can we kind of peep? Is he actually paying attention over this way? Or ah, not seeing any cameras as such. 
Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. Could we, could we just probably line up a... Souls quick. Oh god. How are there no spots to put bodies in, really? Okay. Let's just 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 dump them out here. This'll do. There we go. Okay. Okay. See there are cameras, but I know he said no bloodshed, but, well, I don't particularly care, unfortunately, because, well, I just don't. Okay, let's um, ditch this fool. What else here? What's that? Caught in the maelstrom. Um, let's take that. Anything else here? Forever young. Oh, get, get out. Okay, what have we got here? Tinnitus. Music, review, an attempt. Anything else? Here, we'll take that. Fenrir. We'll take that too. Sounds interesting. Anything else? Dude. Hello? Oh, I have to do them all in? Oh, God's sake. Fine. Understanding your teen. I don't have one, but fine. Okay. I wonder something. Okay. Um... Spontaneous satisfaction machine, okay. Oh, there's somebody and somebody else here, okay. Oh, how annoying. Okay, we know where they are. That's the main thing. <laughs> Dead. Very nice. Okay. Just ditch him here for now. Oh. Hey. Okay, we could have crept in. That's fine. But we didn't. Unfortunately, we um, decided to go loud and proud with it. And you know what? That's fine as well. Alright. Anything else in here? No. That, thank you. All right. Well, I don't think he's going to be happy that we've killed him, but do you know do what? Do not do this. Implantations against my beliefs. Please, I do not want them. Uh, it's okay. Calm yeah. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So, what are you doing here? What happened? Um. First, I want to make sure you're okay. Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. 
They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. Mm -hmm. One. One of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Oof, yeah. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Your brother sent He's me. walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. No. Now, but the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. But my life is not worth the death of others. One good deed does not justify the suffering you have sown. You have committed evil in its purest form. I liked your brother more. Mm -hmm. Um. How did you get taken by Maelstrom? How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Nice City, we had no time to identify its dangers. No. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be, they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. So I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Oh, yeah. Um, and I didn't really have a choice. What was I supposed to do? Read him a sermon? Maelstrom shoots first, then asks questions. You always have a choice, including not to act at all. That is the most difficult of the paths. I would prefer to lose the only body that I have than to live with the thought that somebody died on my account. Leave me. I must catch my breath before I go to my brother. It is him who needs saving now. Who knew monks were ungrateful little brats? Maybe you should apologize for saving this Gannic ass too. Oh dear. Tired of assholes saying there are good and bad people in this world. There are only good choices and shitty ones. Must have made a good one, because why else would Karma leave all this sweet gear just ripe for the picking? I like where you're going with this. Yep. Okay, well, do you know what? That's fine. I don't really see, I mean, I suppose we could have distracted this dude. That dude who was stood there, we could have distracted him with the camera, but then would that have pulled the other dude in? Oh God, excuse me. Because the other dude was just here, wasn't he? Oh God, that's annoying. Could we have, could we have avoided bloodshed, do you suppose? Trying to think. Maybe we could have avoided bloodshed, but I don't know. It's whether it would have been worth it or not. You know. Ah, could we have come in the top here, I suppose? And oh, maybe. Well. Well. I don't know. Who can say? Who can say? Well, we've done it now. Screw it. We've done it. Screw it. And if he doesn't like it, well, save yourself next time. Bloody hell. So ungrateful. Good lord. All right. Well, we are going to leave it there for today, folks. It's a lovely view here, which is kind of spoiled by the pylons over there, but that's fine. Just ignore the pylons. Look at the water and the mountains. Very nice. So next time, we will continue with our cyber psycho and side job runs until there are no more to do. And then we will go and see Miss Hanako and end game this. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>